What's up, it's Kels, and I brought back some Deadpool gameplay because I seriously am addicted to it. I just hate the fact that it's so short. That's why I'm trying to savor it. So I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay as I posted like a nine minute gameplay of this like before. But dude, I was wondering if you guys would, hmm. I know you guys want to see, or some of you guys want to see different gameplays and stuff. And I have a lot of games, like, even though I just traded in most of them so that I could get this game. But I have a lot more, you know, I, I got some, like, Fear 2, which I've been playing. I have Alan Wake, I have Alice Madness, oh, a lot of A's. I have uh, World at War, I have Zombies, you know, shit like that. I have a whole bunch of games. So, I have a lot of fighting games, Super Street Fighter 4, uh, MK9, Injustice. I have a whole bunch of stuff, so please let me know. You know, if you want to see different stuff, and I'm even still freaking trying to find different games on the shelves <laughs> in stock at GameStop, I'm trying to find like the most different games I can possibly find, but it's so hard because either they're shooters, like super shooters, or if they're just RPGs, and you know, I'm not, I'm not really into RPGs because I feel that they take way too much time, <laughs> and I just get bored because you're just collecting things and free roaming, so I'm not really into that. <sighs> so anyways, I was curious, like, how would you guys think if, I mean, how would you guys feel, not think, and what would you think, actually? If I like created a whole new channel dedicated to other games, because Jeed actually, boyfriend Jeed, he actually is doing that, and you know I was trying to see if he wanted to share the channel, but I guess not because I deleted one of our other channels that we shared, and he doesn't really trust me anymore. I guess so that kind of sucks, and yeah. Um, would it be a bad idea if I like totally just made a new channel based on? based on other games only, you know, like, would I, I don't know, would I be doing my same kind of commentaries like I am right now, or would I be doing, like, Let's Plays, even though, like, a lot of people do that, or should I just live record me playing different games? I thought about it, and I want to know your opinion. I mean, I think that you guys are here for my commentaries, and that's going to be in one place only, since I've already got this far. I've gotten this far, you know, 4,000 subscribers, and that's only from COD. So, what if I started posting different gameplays, but with the same kinds of topics, you know? I'd just talk just like how I normally do, but the background is a little bit different. So, how would most of you guys feel about that? Because I know there are a lot of COD fans out there, and people keep telling me, oh, if you just post COD and COD only, then you'll get pretty far. But you know what? I'm starting to rethink that. Like, that's not really fun. I mean, as much as I like playing COD, and as much as it does get boring from time to time, I'd like to post different stuff. So, should I have a dedicated channel for that? No? Because I do have the same commentaries and it wouldn't be any different except the fact that the gameplays are different. Like this one here. So I'm just curious about that. <laughs> curious. Let me know what you guys think. I, I really hope that if I do start posting a whole bunch of different gameplays, I'm still thinking whether it should be like twice twice every upload you know like within the next two uploads I should have different gameplays you know switch between COD and different gameplays I think that variety is important it's fun it's different so yeah even though the gaming community is really small it really is and you see a lot of people who do like you know makeup tutorials or um, what else do they do funny videos like or sometimes they're not really that funny but I don't know pranking videos a whole bunch of stuff that people do, you know, and there's just so many people on YouTube, but the gaming community is pretty small, and it's hard to find us, you know, it's really hard, so I'm not gonna <laughs> start, like, doing what most people do, I'm just gonna stick with my commentaries, the only thing I'm altering are the gameplays, because I'm so tired of seeing COD 2, you know, even though every game I might do something different, like a cool streak, I don't know, or different gun, different camo, whatever, different map, but come on, it's Call of Duty, I've been posting it for three years, and <laughs> it's time to start posting something else. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to start posting different kinds of gameplays, 
I might even post me playing like live gameplays. And I was thinking about bringing back shit in my pants. <laughs> I mentioned this in a dual com with G that I have yet to post. Or who knows, maybe like when I post this one, I've already posted that one. So yeah, give me give me some ideas, you know? What kind of games would you like to see? Okay. Even though this is my channel and I would like to post whatever I'd like, for sure I'm going to do that. But it's nice to know what you guys would like too. Aside from that though, I did have a little mini something I want to talk about. <laughs> Dude, I thought I thought paparazzi was here taking pictures of me. Jean. Um But yeah, a little topic is um uh, the little things that we do or the big things that we do, but mainly little things that we do that make us, you know, get that feeling where you're just like, Yay, oh my god, life is good kind of thing. Like a huge one for most people, I would have to say, from observations and whatnot. Is shopping and like buying things, being a consumer. Like that is isn't that weird? Like the idea of you going somewhere to purchase something for yourself or for somebody else, it gives you this feeling like you feel good about yourself kind of feeling. Like, oh yeah, I got a new pair of shoes, feels good. Oh yeah, I got a new game, feels awesome. Got a new book or new clothes or something or something gigantic. I got a new car, oh my god. <laughs> That's kind of big, but yeah. Like when we buy things, we get this sort of feeling where we're just like, we feel good about ourselves. And some people, you know, they spend a lot of money and they don't know how to control themselves from being a consumer. And so they keep buying things because when you're, let's say you're bored and you're like, God, what is there to do today? And you go out to the mall or something or a store and you look around, you browse and then you see something like, ooh, that'll make me, like you'll just have a feeling of, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you'll just have like a feeling of, shut up. <laughs> you'll, just, you'll just have a feeling. <laughs> Oh my god, you just ruined my train flow, asshole. He's playing with Grizz, that's why he's like jizzing himself right now. But anyways, he's playing against Grizz in World at War. But anyways, who cares about that? Only he does. <laughs> what was I even talking about? Thanks, dude. You fucking dick. Hate you. I don't know what I was just saying. Like, you feel good about something because you buy something and it makes you feel awesome. And so people keep buying things and they don't know, like if it's even necessary and it really isn't like you have to save you have to conserve your money you know like of course you should buy things that helps the economy but not like just to make yourself feel better about yourself you shouldn't do that like so often like it's cool to treat yourself to something after like maybe you get a great grade report card or you pass the biggest test of your life or if you did something awesome you know like you deserve it like yeah and if you can afford it like if you're if your parents are struggling paying bills or something then don't do that you know that's just fucked up <laughs> like help your parents help help people around you help yourself too and then treat yourself so help yourself and others around you before you help yourself or treat yourself i meant to say just treat yourself because definitely help yourself <laughs> So yeah, think about what you're buying, okay? Because nowadays, there's a lot of shit, unnecessary shit, okay? Like, a whole bunch of new technology that you honestly do not need. Like, if you have a laptop, why the fuck do you need an iPad or an Android all at the same time? Come on, think about it, right? So just think about what you're buying. Be a smart consumer. Just buy what you need or, like, sometimes treat yourself. Like I said, there are right times for that. But there are other ways to make yourself feel good, like being active outside or even inside. Play sports, play an instrument, do your favorite hobbies. Practice your hobbies because hobbies show what you're good at and what you're not good at. You know, your strengths and your weaknesses. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, so much for listening. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I gotta stop this because it's made in nine minutes. Bye!